All right, check it out. Got the yellow and blue old school first edition uh, endorsement t-shirt. Shout out David P. Are you wearing yours? Super uh, subscriber David P. Little shout out. So we're going to check out two, uh, I don't know, products I found at a little Mexican uh, grocery store that was attached, same building, to a uh, Mexican restaurant that I tried out uh, last week. So we have the Cheetos. Can you see this word right here? Camillo? Camillo? I'm not even going to try to pronounce that even though I did. That means fangs in... Uh, English and look at that Cheetos shaped like fangs. We're gonna try that one and we're gonna try the Fritos Chorizo and Chipotle. Check them out. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something. Oh, I got the double point. I got the double point kind of kind of showing you the Cam Newton. All right, so listen, I can be very persuasive sometimes. So check it out. Look at these uh, up here, these two little um, octagons. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight octagons. So you see the uh, wordage up there? Those I read are uh, Mexican uh, companies are uh, kind of contributing to the, what is it? How do I want to describe this? Um, obesity? And they want to kind of warn you that there's excessive sodium and excessive calories in this snack. Uh, something that the United States should probably do. Just saying, even though we know what's going on with snacks like this, it's nice that they're putting it up there. All right, so here we go. Cheetos. Calmilios, Calmilios, Fangs. I'm probably butchering that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh, all right. So even look at the Cheeto, the uh, C uh, behind there, kind of showing you a nice little uh, Cheeto-esque with the uh, spots. But there you go. Fangs. I don't know if it's going to be spicy. On the back, it says uh, a bunch of stuff. Queso. I recognize queso. So check it out. What is this? Tell me if this is going to be hot or not. All right, I mean, it looks red, it looks ominous. Let's try this out. And then we're gonna try the Fritos Chorizo y Chipotle. Chipotle, Chipotle. What the? Yeah. This looks red, this kind of looks brown. I don't know. Get inside the bag of the Cheetos fangs. Let's take one out. Let's get it into the light. Oh, look at this. Look at the fang. Yeah, look at that. Now I'm talking, look at me right through the fang right there. All right, I was expecting a little more red, but I guess it is a, a red hint, uh, a red hue, a red uh, tinge. All right, so uh, that's pretty interesting. And they show it right here on the bag, like chomping down on a um, piece of cheese. So if you take another one of these, you kind of make a, can you make a mouth out of it? Yeah, there you go, check it out. Not so good, doesn't, I guess it doesn't kind of work. But you get the idea, fangs right there. Let's try one, wish me luck. Oh, this is that texture that kind of just melts in your mouth. Cheeto-esque, but a little lighter, a little airier. Little flavor of cheese. And then I don't know what that other flavor is. It says corn, queso, C-O-N-O-C-I-O. -O -O. What's that? I don't know. I wish I knew. I wish I knew. I took Spanish in high school, but uh, I'm limited. I'm limited to like, donde viva usted, um, hace color, hace frío, things like that. Things of that nature. This, it's like almost Chipotle. I don't know if my mind is playing tricks on me. Ghetto Boys, because I know ch uh, chorizo is coming up in the uh, fritos. Uh, almost tastes like chorizo, but like almost like chili. And then it's cheesy. I don't 100% love the flavor. Just gonna get that out there uh, front and center. 
I don't love the flavor. I don't know if it's partially because I don't like the look of it. I wanted it to be red or uh, yellow and it is kind of uh, brown. One more bite. I like that it just kind of just um, evaporates, if that's even the word. Yeah, I don't love these. Definitely salty, definitely excessive salt, excessive sodium. I don't know, and look, why is there just a random tree? Just a random tree on the side of the back. Maybe for the Halloween vibe, yeah. All right, the fangs, not so much. Not so much of a bite. Thought of that right on the spot. All right, so here we go. Fritos, chorizo, and chipotle. Let's go. I'm gonna say this, I'm on record saying this over nine years on uh, YouTube doing food reviews. Not a huge fan of Fritos. Something about the corn, I don't know. I'll eat them from time to time. I don't get excited about new flavors like I do with uh, potato chips or Cheetos or something like that. Let's give these a smell. Oh. oh, oh, oh mama. Yikes. <laughs> Take a look inside the bag. Yeah, chorizo and chipotle Fritos. The smell of this, oh, it smells hot. You ever get those things that it just smells hot? You know it's uh, chorizo and uh, chipotle. It's going to have some heat when you smell something that smells like that, almost making my eyes water. And even when I did that and it's near my nose, I can smell it. Let's check it out right there. All right, probably gonna eat one or two of these. We're gonna give it a shot. Mexican uh, snacks from the Mexican grocery store. Cool little grocery store, like the aisles. You couldn't even get like uh, more than two people down the aisle, uh, elbow to elbow, shoulder to shoulder. And they had like a section for like uh, a deli section kind of with all meats in there. Then you had the cooler with a bunch of Jaritos uh, soda flavors among some other things. All right, I'm, I'm trying to talk to prolong this, but let's just get down to it. <sighs> Chorizo and Chipotle. Let's go. No. Oh. Oh. I've eaten a lot of food. I've eaten a lot of snacks in my lifetime. That is hands down. And I can smell it from here. It's right there. The bag is right there. That might be the worst tasting anything I've ever eaten. It just had to hit the tongue, the uh, initial taste, and I needed it gone immediately. There was no, no two ways about it. And it wasn't that it was hot. It wasn't like the Pocky Challenge. Um, it was just a flavor that should not be a flavor. Like, was it Chipotle and chorizo on steroids? Like, just to the thousandth power I wish oh let me tell you I'm gonna uh share these with some friends I'm gonna be like hey do you like chorizo do you like chipotle give one of these a shot but don't smell it wow um let's just give a rating on this one this this might be the lowest score ever in the history on the channel and if you're familiar with the channel back in the day eight years ago or something when I did the uh Solomon Stockies whatever whatever the funny name was, the uh, licorice from, um, where was it? It was a uh, friend of mine went on a cruise and got me licorice, but it wasn't licorice. It's not the licorice. Den Denmark? Did they go to Denmark? I don't know. But it was like, show me your stockies. That video is one of my favorites. But that right there, I think out of 10 or an 11, this is going to get a five. I'm giving these right here. Frito brand with uh, some pretty standard flavoring. I don't, I've said enough. Now these, I guess I rinsed my mouth out. That's where I went after I ate that. Kind of got some of the red off, but this had my tongue all red. Um, I don't know. This is not the greatest either. Wasn't a fan of how it looked. Wasn't a fan of the flavor. I needed more cheese. I needed something else. This is probably 64. 
64, and what did I give this, a five? Even combined, it's a 69. All right, so listen, there you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word on my channel out to the masses. In closing, there you go. I can't wait to share this with someone. I also cannot wait to get this into the garbage. I'm sorry, Frito-Lay. I am sorry. But this, oh my goodness. No, even, I don't want to hold it. All right, all right. I'm done. That's it. Thanks for joining me. Light up the comments below if you've tried either one of these. And uh, salute all of my uh, Mexican uh, viewers. And if you tuned in to watch me eat some um, Mexican snacks, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't like them better, but I mean, I don't want to touch those anymore. I'm done.